Hey guys, now I'm going to talk about a an issue related sort of to my first video and that's because it's related to morality and it's about the judgment of others and that's colored magic. Colored magic frankly gets on my nerves. Um, and if you don't know what I'm talking about by colored magic, I'm talking about black and white magic and gray magic and any other color used to explain to distinguish the morality of a certain spell or working. The reason I hate this is first of all because it's racist. If I were to, to do something wrong in my mundane life and say, oh, that was a really black thing for me to do, or do something right and be like, that was a really white thing for me to do, I would be immediately called a racist. Yet for some reason, when it's applied to magic, it's acceptable to use those racist terms to distinguish behavior as if all Caucasians are always perfect and love and light and wonderful and never do anything wrong. So it, it, just, it doesn't make sense to me. In addition, <laughs> black and white and gray are odd because it's mainly witches who are trying not to harm others that use these terms. Therefore, they're imposing their own moral code onto others who practice black magic in their mind. No one who practices what people who use these terms would describe as black magic call it black magic. <laughs> it's something that the people who practice white magic are using to describe the others. It's again, describing the outsiders, those that are apart from ourselves, that are scary and different, that we don't understand, and that we're going to judge. And it becomes an issue because you, most of the time the sides don't understand each other. Um, those that do practice black magic don't understand why what they're doing is described as black magic most of the time because it's justified to them. No one really goes out into the world and says, I'm going to just do harm and I'm just going to do whatever I can to screw everyone over because I feel like it. Very few people are going to do that. It's people, people who practice magic that does harm others generally don't have the same moral code as, as Wiccans or those that are inspired by Wicca do. They don't they, they look for what is justified. They look to do what they feel is right in the world. And if that means harming someone, they will accept, they will do it because it's justified in their mind. And the idea behind black and white magic is odd. It's, it's like saying that if I go to do a spell and my intentions are good, then nothing bad can happen from it. If I, for example, want to help my friend get more money, because she can't pay her bills and she's about to be evicted or whatever, and I did a prosperity spell for her, that in a lot of people's minds would be white magic because I'm doing it for her benefit. I'm not trying to harm anyone. It's not negative in any way. Yet if I do the spell and something negative does happen, like someone in her family dies and leaves her money, what is it then? Something bad happened from my spell. It may not have been what I thought would happen, but I should have thought it through in the beginning. But <laughs> um, and considered all the option, all the outcome, possible outcomes. But it could happen. And is it then black magic because someone I caught my the result of my spell was that someone died? I don't know. Would it be gray magic? This term that still uses the the racist merging the, the merging of the two racist terms magic is a tool and it's how you use it not the necessarily the outcome of your spell the magic itself cannot be black or white it's just magic it's like saying that i can use a pencil to write a beautiful book that inspires everyone to seek enlightenment and help nature and give to the needy and do all these wonderful things, or I can use it to write a hate letter that causes someone to commit suicide. But the pen, the pencil that I use to write those letters and that, the, that letter in that novel is not inherently good or bad. It was my intention behind the, the tool. <laughs> so judging magic differently than that pencil is kind of weird. And I don't, I've never understood that idea. The magic itself is not bad or good. So I feel like, I think that's why 
this is the main reasons why the ideas behind black and white magic really irritate me to no end. And I'm going to link my articles on Roots of Ritual for spell work in the sacred space below because I discuss colored magic a little bit. I discuss the idea of just using magic as a tool and thinking about through all of the possible outcomes before you cast a spell and incorporating your own moral code, whatever it is, into your spell work and things like that. So I highly recommend them. So give them a read and I will see you guys later. Bye.